It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. It is impossible for a man to learn what he thinks he already knows. Wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. Don't be concerned with other people's impressions of you. They're dazzled and deluded by appearances. Stick with your purpose. This alone will strengthen your will and give your life coherence. There is only one way to happiness and that is to cease worrying about things which are beyond the power of our will. He who laughs at himself never runs out of things to laugh at. Keep your attention focused entirely on what is truly your own concern. And be clear that what belongs to others is their business and none of yours. From this instant on, vow to stop disappointing yourself. Separate yourself from the mob. Decide to be extraordinary and do what you need to do now. He is a wise man who does not grieve for the things which he has not, but rejoices for those which he has. You become what you give your attention to. If you yourself don't choose what thoughts and images you expose yourself to, someone else will, and their motives may not be the highest. No great thing is created suddenly. There must be time. Give your best and always be kind. If someone speaks badly of you, do not defend yourself against the accusations, but reply. You obviously don't know about my other vices, otherwise you would have mentioned these as well. Suffering arises from trying to control what is uncontrollable, or from neglecting what is within our power. Progress is not achieved by luck or accident, but by working on yourself daily. When we blather about trivial things, we ourselves become trivial for our attention gets taken up with trivialities. You become what you give your attention to. An ignorant person is inclined to blame others for his own misfortune. To blame oneself is proof of progress. But the wise man never has to blame another or himself. Don't explain your philosophy embody it. Authentic happiness is always independent of external conditions. Freedom is the only worthy goal in life. It is won by disregarding things that lie beyond our control. Stop aspiring to be anyone other than your own best self for that does fall within your control. Ruin and recovering are both from within. No man is free who is not master of himself. Have the wisdom to know what cannot be changed and the strength to change what can. Every difficulty in life presents us with an opportunity to turn inward and to invoke our own submerged inner resources. The trials we endure can and should introduce us to our strengths.
to live a life of virtue. You have to become consistent, even when it isn't convenient, comfortable, or easy. Make it your business to draw out the best in others by being an example yourself. Any person capable of angering you becomes your master. He who is not happy with little will never be happy with much. Living a good life leads to enduring happiness. Goodness in and of itself is the practice and the reward. The best place to get help is from yourself. Fortify yourself with contentment, for this is an impregnable fortress. Each man's life is a kind of campaign, and a long and complicated one at that. You have to maintain the character of a soldier, and do each separate act at the bidding of the general. Caretake this moment. Immerse yourself in its particulars. Respond to this person, this challenge, this deed. Quit evasions. Stop giving yourself needless trouble. It is time to really live, to fully inhabit the situation you happen to be in now. Don't demand or expect that events happen as you would wish them do. Accept events as they actually happen. That way, peace is possible. It takes more than just a good-looking body. You've got to have the heart and soul to go with it. 